want to see your 30 or 40 year old slides, nice slideshow. And this is how it works. Just take a protector or camera. Capture. Go to dark table. Select a reference picture. First make a little bit of quality control. Now let's select a reference picture. This one. Here we apply our style. Already selected, rotate it. Do the correct cropping. Nice, that works. And then copy this to all of the other slides. That's it, you're done. Just export and go. And this will be the video to explain how this works. So this is the first part on how to digitize your slides. We will focus on capturing, setting up the projector, setting up the camera, which camera to use, how, the cam how camera settings should be, building a fast setup so you can do very fast a session if you have some time, spare time, how to prepare the slides before capturing and finally get them. The second part will then be a separate video where I tell you everything about processing. We will develop the RAWs in Darktable, which is open source at no cost. We will do quality control and we get the portrait orientation back very efficiently using GVN view, also open source. And there will also be some hints on organize your slides. And finally, time warp them back. We will use EXIF tool to get them the original date, capture date, in the metadata. But now let's start with the first part, capturing the slides. So this is a process. We will first talk about setting up the camera and projector, about the lighting, the diffuser plate we will need, the white balance, the raw settings, ISO and aperture. Next, preparing the slides. This is extremely simple. Turn all of them into landscape. And finally, capturing the raws. This is done using a TVS field monitor connected via HDMI. Very simple. Let's start with the projector. So this is about how preparing the projector. We enter the area where the light, the bulb, is placed. You see this is um, very simple to be opened without any tools. We open it right here. Now we have the case open. I will light in here. And there are two slots where lenses have been. Those are the lenses. We'll show them. Those are the lenses which uh, have been here in these slots to focus the light of the lamp to the slide. And what we do is simply pull them out and then uh, the light of the lamp goes directly to the image, to the slide. However, if you focus on the slide, we will see the lamp and the glowing part of the lamp as a structure within our slide. To avoid this, we have to place something which diffuses light here where this glass plate is. And in my case, I, I very, very simply took um, a sheet of Teflon which diffuses the light and afterwards there is the slide. Where to place the projector? It's also very simple. I made a construction here where there is a wooden frame, you see it right here. I'll move it a little bit forward. There's a wooden plate with two holes for the front uh, foots of the projector. And you place it on here and just move it until it fits into, the, into those holes. Like this, and do a U at all. The advantage of this is you have kind of a fixed mounter, so we will place later on the camera right here, going directly into the projector, 
and we have kind of a fixed mounter which allows you very fast to set up your camera for digitizing slides. Preparation of the projector from the front side. You see, very simply, I removed the lens. That's all you have to do. Now, let's talk about the camera. How the camera is fixed or placed before the projector and um, going in the direction of the, of the slide. This is a very simple construction here. You see here two, uh, two wooden parts which are simply interconnected with those threads here and nuts here and wing nuts here so you can easily adjust it until it um, fits exactly into the direction of the slide and once it is adjusted you do you fix it with the wing nuts and you're done. <coughs> with those angles here you can place it on the wooden frame and those pieces I have added for stability because the lens is quite long as you see. So place it here and you see it exactly fits in. How to set up the lens? Very simple. This is no extremely expensive I'd say uh, E-mount lens, it's just an old mechanical manual MD lens. Uh, this is a zoom lens from 28 to 70 with Minolta MD mount. You can use any other lens you want. Then we have a 30 millimeter extension tube, tube which we need to get the focus exactly on the slide and this is the E-mount MD adapter. Let's talk about the costs. I think you can get the camera for about 50 euro. With the adapter I recommend high quality. I'm using a K and F concept. Um, I think it's about 25 euro. The extension tube, I don't know. You have to look at the internet. Maybe you are also um, well on the way with another lens with a macro. This has no macro and this is also a very cheap lens. You can get it I think about, about 20 or 30 euro. Nevertheless it's extremely high quality. So this is all we need to capture the image. Now when capturing slides you could go for the display and uh, do here the manual focusing but I strongly recommend another possibility. You see this cable on this side this camera has an HDMI output, so you don't need any tether shooting. You just connect um, your TV set or computer monitor or whatsoever to this HDMI and you will have a much more comfortable way to capture the images. Let's have a look at how it works. Readjust sharpness. So, this way. And very important, after having adjusted the sharpness, stop down. I'm going to f-stop 11 right now. So I'm getting a really a sharp, nice picture. And go! So that's basically it. You have seen how to set up the projector. One information regarding the lamp. I am not replacing the lamp, it's uh, 250 watt, uh, but I have the dimming possibility, so I am a little bit dimming it down, I think to half or two thirds of the wattage. But with, this doesn't ma matter. You can also use the full, the full power of the lamp. Setting up the camera, use RAW. This is very important for post-processing. I have made good experience with the white balance of automatic. 
I'm using a quite high ease of 800 because I've had to use uh, short exposure times because I don't have a cable remote for the camera so I have to have um, a very short exposure time uh, to get no shaken pictures. F-stop, stop it down to 11 because this keeps the false light in a sharp mode. Preparing the slides, turn all of them to landscape and I use a manual lens so I zoom in and then uh, focus until I see or at least I believe to see the grain. Then the most important use a TVS field monitor, a large monitor largely helps you to uh, get a good impression of the quality. So finally enjoy and see you at part two where we'll see how easy it is to process all the images we have captured.